This video will show a technique for setting the Excel formula bar to a larger font size. This is a problem that a lot of people ask me about and there has never been a really good solution to this but this video will show you at least one approach you can take. So the basic idea is that in Excel you can set the font size of the individual values in a cell, but there's no nice way to set the font size for the formula bar and to make that different. So if I change this to a 20 point font, that's fine, but you'll notice the formula bar always stays the same size. You can increase the space for the formula bar, but it still doesn't change the font size. You can't really select the elements in a formula bar and say, oh, I want to change that to a different font size. It doesn't change the formula bar. Um, you might try it, but it doesn't change the formula bar. It's very frustrating. Um, this approach will show you how to actually try to get that to work for you. So let's go back to uh, just a standard size sheet here. Nothing fancy on this sheet to start with. And I just want to talk about a couple of ideas to get us started. One is in the under the file menu there is the Excel options button and if we click on that it opens up dialog box and this dialog box has two options we're going to use to make this work for us. One is the general tab has an option for setting the font size for a worksheet. So the font size for the, not only for the worksheets you open but for the user interface so Let's say I change this to a 20 point font and I click OK. Now if I restart Excel, which I'll go ahead and do right now, I'll just close Excel and not save that sheet and then restart it. You'll notice Excel comes up and the user interface has changed pretty dramatically. Now when I enter something into a spreadsheet cell, you'll notice the formula bar has a much larger font size than it had, but so does the column headings and so are the row headings and so everything has gotten bigger. Now I could if I wanted to I could say well now set the font size on that sheet smaller. Well you'll notice I can set the font size on the sheet smaller but I still have the large values, the large headers and the large row numbers so this is a little bit inconvenient. But Excel has a kind of interesting feature, and that is if you open up a worksheet that you've made prior to changing this font size to the large, it will keep the font size of the sheet area small. Now, let me demonstrate this by opening up a worksheet that I created earlier. I'll just see if I can find a worksheet here. So I'll go to Open, and so... Here's a worksheet that I created. Well, no, that's not there. Here's a worksheet I created. It's a VLOOKUP worksheet. And let's see what we get. So notice this particular VLOOKUP worksheet has a font size of 12. And notice the headers and of the columns and the row numbers are much smaller. But I still have the larger size in my formula bar. So that's that's a pretty cool feature. Now we can take advantage of that and let me show you what we're going to do. So I'll close that. I'm not going to save that. And what we want to do is we want to start with the options, the general options set at the normal font size. So I'm going to go back to 11 point and say OK. Restart Excel. So with Excel set at a normal font size, I'm going to make a really simple sheet here. I'm not going to actually put anything on the sheet, but I'm going to save it. And I just want to save it into my into my documents folder. Um, and I'll just save it right here. But while I'm saving this, I'm going to make a brand new folder for this. And in this brand new folder, 
I'm going to put this document, but I'm going to call this folder Excel Startup. Now, I know that there's an Excel Startup folder in your users directory that you can use, but I'm just going to put this one right in my Documents folder so it's easy to find. So there's my new folder called Excel Startup. And I'm going to go into that folder, and I'm just going to save this document as just book1.xlsx. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit Save. And so now I've saved it. And at this point, I'm going to go into the File menu. And I'm going to go to my Options. I'm going to go to General. And I'm going to change that Startup font so that it's 20 points. And I'll click OK. And it will tell me to restart. So let's go ahead and make sure that works. So close Excel restart Excel and it comes up and it didn't open up my book one it opened up a brand new sheet and so because it's got a brand new sheet I've got these great big row and column headers and the sheet size is big I wanted to open up my brand new my my sheet that I saved in my startup folder well this is what we're gonna do we're gonna go find in our directory we're gonna go find that startup folder and so there's that startup folder right there. And I'm going to right click on that startup folder and I'm going to get the properties of that startup folder. So there are the properties. So essentially the location of the folder is what I want right here. Now the location of your folder is going to be different. It might say C colon and something. But all you want to do is find the location of that startup folder. So it's called Excel space startup. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna copy that a location that I've got there for that startup folder. So I just say copy and okay. And now I'm gonna go back into Excel and I'm gonna go to the file menu, options, and there are many options here. But I'm gonna go to the advanced options, and under advanced there are lots and lots of items. And so we're going to scroll down on this advanced options. And if we keep scrolling on down quite a little ways, eventually we're going to come to this group called general. And in this group called general, it says at startup, open all files in. And we're going to click right there, and we're going to paste in the location of our startup folder. Now notice what it says here. It says slash documents. But we have to give the name of the folder there. So I'm going to put a slash on the end, Excel space startup. That's the name of my folder. So basically what this says, it says it's startup, open up all files that are in that folder right there. And I'm going to now click OK. And now watch what happens when I restart Excel. So I'll just close Excel, and I'm going to restart it. So Excel is going to open, and it's going to open up all the files that are in my startup folder. And you'll notice all the files in my startup folders, there's this one file that I put in there, I named it book1.xlsx, but it had the font size set at the normal font size that I wanted, and that was 11 point font. So now I can type in my my text here, you know, January, and you'll notice, of course, that as I type in my text in the sheet here, of course, it puts the text in the formula bar, but the text in the formula bar is that larger font size that I set in my options. So now I have a normal sized sheet here with normal size numbers and so on, but my formula bar has much larger font size in it. Now I can, of course, I can shrink the formula bar to a single row formula bar if I wish, and I still have that large font size. Now an important thing to think of, of course, is that when I go to the file menu, I want to use save as and save this document so that it's not going to be overwritten and have all this stuff in it. So a nice easy way to do that, to make sure that you do that, is to go back to your file that you saved in your Excel startup folder. So the file that I saved in my Excel startup folder is right there, it's book1.xlsx. Well, I can right click on that and I can go to properties and choose the properties option on that. And then I can tick the little box at the bottom that says read only. So if I tick the little box at the bottom that says read only, 
then next time when I open up that file, it'll say that I can't save it if I try to just save right over it. Let's go back to Excel. Oops. And in Excel, I'm thinking, what would happen if I hit save right now? It says access denied, you know, because I did a save as. So I would be forced to do a save as, and now I can save it as a different name, which would you normally do anyway. So let's close that and try that one more time. Open it up in Excel. Here's my blank document. does have the larger font in the formula bar. Go to the file menu. It says it's read only. Of course, we know that. But again, if you try to hit save, it'll tell you you can't. You have to use save as and give it a new name or a new location. So that is exactly what we want. So again, just to summarize, we did a lot of things here. Under the file menu, go to options, and you can change the font size under the general tab to whatever font you want to see in your formula bar. The next thing we did also is we went to the advanced options, scrolled down till we got to the general group, and we indicated where a folder was that the computer will open any file that's in that folder. It'll also open multiple files, so this is just something Excel can do at startup. So you got to get that whole file path in there. Once you've done that, of course, you've got this file that you saved with the original Excel settings. So you had the file saved with the original cell settings at, let's say, a font size of 11. And that file then will open automatically that's in that folder. And this file that we saved with the original settings, if you right-click on that file and go to Properties, you can make that file read-only so you don't accidentally overwrite that file. Give that a try.